Hey YouTube, so I'm going to make a real quick video um, on how to change ROMs on practically any Android device uh, with a uh, Mac. Um, you can be on the Windows, the steps are pretty much similar, but you got to do a few more things different. But uh, basically, I have this ROM on here called Viper, uh, Viper ROM, and I'm going to change to this thing online on the XDA thread called Avatar ROM and if you're looking for a ROM for your phone you just gonna want to go up to this XDA developers website type in your device whatever it may be and you will find just bunches of amazing different softwares to just flash onto your device that is if you have an Android and aren't just you know with an iPhone like everyone else in the world boring is never mind we're not gonna go there so basically here it is uh, I have my ROM downloaded already I just clicked right here downloaded the avatar ROM uh, both of those it tells you to download so I have them down here already so I'm basically going to turn off my Evo LTE and it is already rooted and I have uh, my bootloader unlocked um, if you don't have that yet, you're going to need to figure out how to do that. Um, it's a pain in the ass, but it is very accomplishable, and it is worth it. So, uh, if you need help, I might help you out. Shoot me up so many questions or whatever, and I will do the best I can. But otherwise, uh, this thing's going into recovery right now, and all I'm going to do is drag and drop my files that I've downloaded uh, onto what a lot of people like to call the root of your SD card which is just your SD card so don't uh, just ignore that intimidating word you still always freak me out uh, it's a lot easier than it sounds so basically we're taking these two files it's called the gapps file they're both zip files you want to leave them like that and you want to drag them onto wherever your card shows up after you click mount on that so I take there we go drag and drop and drag and drop um that didn't drop right unbelievable nope I, I don't want you there I want you in the thingy go Okay, yeah, now it's doing it. Alright, so, um, it's going to be really simple. Hopefully we won't run into too many hiccups along the way. But just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and take the ROM itself right here and drop it to my desktop. And I will show you why in a second. And I take this and you eject it as just ejecting my uh, storage card in my phone here. And you click unmount and go back and this is just the main menu here so first off what I'm gonna do just to be safe is flash my phone completely and just erase everything it's ever known and I have a thingy called super wipe zip that I do to do that and it's just gonna delete everything it's ever known so while that's going on I'm gonna open up the ROM file which is right here and it's gonna unzip it and the purpose of this is to uh, extract the boot image so that I can flash it to my phone in case it doesn't like to boot up when I first start it up. So what we're going to do here is uh, take this file that it just made and there's a little boot image right there. And all we do is go into your Android SDK, which you hopefully have in your computer, and if you don't, it's going to be another nightmare that you're going to have to do, and it's worth it, and I'll show you how if you need help, but it's all there, and you can do it, so good luck. But I have mine right here, uh, and you go into this f folder called Fastboot, and I just click Open in Finder, and then, so it's kind of right here, there's a bunch of crap in here, which I don't understand at all. But all I know to do is take this boot image, my last one that I put on my computer or my phone, and just delete it. And then take the one that I just downloaded and drop it into there. So we'll just... Now it's in there somewhere. 
So, in case my phone doesn't boot up when I first flash the ROM, I can flash the boot image as well. So I just clicked wipe cache. Uh, you really just you can't wipe too much before you install a new ROM, so you may as well just go hard. Uh, forgot to mention, if you don't want to lose everything, you click back up right here, and you just back up all of your stuff. It's called an Android backup. It's easy as can be, and then you just come into here and restore it. Pretty, ni pretty nice, not going to lie. Um, so basically, we did that. Uh, did that. So we're going to look at the instructions here. Make sure I'm not going to screw up something simple, which is what normally happens. Uh, all it's going to tell us to do here is install from Clockwork Mod. Uh, I'm, I don't even know if I'm using that, but we're going to go ahead and continue on. Um, tells you to wipe, back up your old stuff like I just said, wipe everything, download it, and install. So if you want to flash your zip file, then install the... Uh, Google Apps. So all we do is click this and f do that. Kind of just swipe your finger. Uh, while that's going on, it's doing a bunch of script things here that are kind of fun to watch. Every now and then, the uh, developer will put some funny message in there that you'll get a good chuckle off of, but uh, nothing too interesting so far but uh while that's going i'm gonna go ahead and get this open now you may not need to do any of this on the computer which i'm doing right now but i just do it just in case so now the fa the boot image is in there i just go back into the file take this fast boot file and i'm gonna drag it and drop it into my terminal which for a Windows computer is called your command center or command prompt or something and you can basically type in some certain code so you can open up that folder in your computer that's the main thing you gotta do to use Android SDK which totally fucked my mind for about the first three months and I gotta lie I felt pretty stupid but here it is now it's opened up with the fast boot file um, you type for me a Mac you type this uh, period and a slash and then space a d b to open up like the main uh, thingy uh, alright so there's no there's no uh, space in between there see it's, it's all up to like uh, just a number or, like what you gotta type in it's just really hard sometimes so if the phone doesn't flash the uh, kernel like it should uh, which is the kernel is like how it boots up or whatever I think um, we're gonna type in something like this uh, boot dot fast boot flash you know what I'm, I'm forgetting what I'm doing here I'm a bit nervous to f screw up on here uh, it's on it's available online but I, I normally remembered it somehow fast boot can't type it at all right now and then flash boot boot dot img so like the first part of this the fast boot flash boot is just telling it what to do and the boot dot img is the name of the file that you told it to so if your dot img file is something else then you change that in the end and now this is already finished its little job here said it installed it uh, I am very skeptical whether or whether or not this is going to work because it just seemed too easy but we're going to go back and install the G apps like it wants us to um, make sure we get the right one here some 212 a bunch of crazy yeah that looks about right okay so let's flash that and that shouldn't take too long and if all goes according to plan, once this is done, I click Reboot System, and my phone will turn on with the new ROM that we just installed. And uh, about 70% of the time, that's what happens. 30% of the time, you either brick your phone, which I have done dozens of times, uh, sometimes for days, I just don't even have my phone anymore. 
or you'll get in something called a boot loop where it'll just continuously just do this and then turn off and then do this again it'll do that for hours days if you let it um, but right now it's doing a normal blank screen here that wasn't good for it uh, it's the mistake that I did make that I make a lot that you hopefully won't make now that you're hearing this from me it, I left my USB cable in my phone when I flashed the ROM um, it doesn't like that I don't know why but I've heard it's not good um, but as of now anyways it is not turning on at all so if I didn't know what I was doing this would look like a broken phone to me um, for Evo LTE owners you hold down the volume down button and the power button to kind of reboot it because we can't take out our batteries anymore which is pretty sad uh, you do this for a while your little buttons down here should flash um, mine aren't flashing maybe they are and I'm not seeing it but this is it like this is what happens when you try doing this and stuff doesn't go according to plan but that's alright because we are in bootloader uh, if you ever can't get to bootloader I am incredibly sorry for you that has never happened to me and god I hope it doesn't happen to anyone um, once you're in bootloader just go ahead and realize that you're gonna be okay and you can continue uh, since I already got everything ready here on my terminal once my Mac decides to let me start moving its trackpad, all we'll have to do here is uh, flash the kernel or the boot image to the phone. So all we're going to do here is plug in my USB cable, uh, go to something called Fast Boot here, and now it says Fast Boot. It says Fast Boot USB, and once my Mac lets me move my trackpad again, we're gonna just click Enter and I screwed up again see that I bet that I bet there shouldn't be a space there that's what happens it's just you gotta like never give up you gotta just keep dicking with it until it does what you want and my god what is that what is that I don't even know what that is what just happened there Holy mackerel. What? Yeah, I don't know what that's doing. I don't even think that's doing its job. Fast boot. Flash. Boot. Boot.img. There we go. I screwed up somewhere. See, you gotta just keep, you gotta keep dicking with it. It'll work. So, it did that. My camera's dying right now. Um, so hopefully that's all we have to do. We click reboot. And, oh, I dropped my phone again. That's all right. I haven't cracked my screen again yet. Notice I say again. Uh, while this is booting up, I'll go ahead and tell you guys the Xperia tablet screen is very crackable. And if you drop it off a porch or something like that, don't even go and get it. Like, you may as well just move on. Um, that's a pretty cool boot screen. I like that. Um, so yeah, like I said, all we really had, <laughs> look at it, it's, it's auto-focusing on her, that's pretty funny. Uh, I guess you can't see that, it's just me, but, um, anyways, uh, it's on now, pretty much. It looks like it's booting up. It'll probably take another minute or two, because, uh, it's its first boot, and that takes a little bit longer than ever. So, uh, once it turns on, we should have this new ROM to play with. Uh, if I don't like it, it's easy to go back. If I would have made a backup, I could have just went back to exactly how I had my phone before, but I didn't do that because I wasn't happy with it anyways. So I didn't care. Um, so we're pretty much just waiting for this to install, and then we'll go through its little menus. I'll show you what it looks like, and I will uh, give you guys one last... Uh, wish of luck to be able to do this yourself because it's pretty fun I like this um, looking for some Wi-Fi networks this looks like a pretty cool uh, 
looks pretty pretty nice here. Some ROMs won't even let you skip, but we're going to go ahead and do that because it is nice and it is cool. That's a pretty nice looking screen too. I'm going to go ahead and type in my crap here and let you guys look at my terminal longer. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. Like, all those threads online that are like 20 pages long, they help you. They'll, they, they'll get you where I got here, but this video should pretty much do the same, especially if you're on a Mac and you have the SDK already installed. Otherwise, the Android SDK getting that installed, that's just a whole entire another video in itself because that took me forever. But I logged in. Uh, keep going through these menus here. Seems to be really quick. Like, no ROM I've ever downloaded was that quick through that menu. Um, looks pretty cool too, not gonna lie. Look at that. Okay, get out of here. Uh, the icons look pretty nice. I don't know if my camera will focus on that. But yeah, it's got this weird theme going on here. Um, I'm a guy for themes. I love theming out my phone and making it look really personal. Alright, that's gonna get real old. If that keeps happening every time, then we're not gonna... Okay, that's cool. Alright, so we're gonna go into theme chooser real quick before I end this video and see what's got online for me here. Because that's the coolest part of ROMs like this. Uh having a bunch of crazy themes to completely change out your phone so we're gonna go ahead and install the snowfall theme whatever uh... looks pretty cool there's like little snow shit on top of it i will never keep this i don't even want to install it never mind this one looks a lot cooler t3 whatever downloading it uh... while we're waiting we'll look at the there's a lot of information going on there uh, kind of just swipe to get to your other menu. I really like that. I really like that. Um, I don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, some other stuff here. So basically, once this is done, it is already installed. I think we do that. It's switching to T3, and ta da! Would you look at that? Let's see an iPhone do something like that, Apple. I want to see it. Show me the day. Alright, so, that's it. Totally different ROM. Uh, pretty much different uh, setup, too. I really like it. I think I'll keep this for a while. Um, so, guys, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or, like, whatever, you know. Hit me up. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if it took me a while to get this done. Uh, like I said, it's kind of hard to do, and you just got to keep messing around until you get it. So, good luck, everybody.